If you need to transplant peonies, the time to do it is at the end of summer, once the weather cools down. In warmer climates, where you get cold winters but not extremely cold, you can transplant them right up until midwinter. Generally, peonies are best left undisturbed. However, if you do need to transplant them, this is how to do it. Here we're dealing with the herbaceous and itotypes. Both are treated in the same way and will deal with the tree peonies separately. This is a plant that's been in the ground for seven years. It's been neglected and also receives very hot sun in the summer. So it does need to be transplanted. Use a garden fork or a spade to dig around the plant a fair distance from the plant so that you don't damage the root system any more than you need to. Dig around the plant as deeply as you can until the plant begins to pop up out of the soil. Lift it out and then clean up all the dead stems. The herbaceous types will only have buds at ground level, so all of the old foliage and the stems are pruned right away. In case of the itotype, and this is an itotype peony, you'll have buds at ground level as well as on some of the stems. Prune the stems back to a bud and prune away any dead wood. Next, examine the root system and make fresh clean cuts on any damaged pieces of the root system. This helps prevent rot damaging the plant. You can wash all the soil off the roots if you wish, however you don't need to, just clean up the damaged roots. The planting hole should be prepared before you dig the peonies. Make it larger than the root ball. If your soil is acidic, then you need to add some lime to the bottom of the planting hole. We use a granulated lime, which lasts longer than other types, and add three to four cups to the planting hole. We also add a cup of slow-release granular fertiliser. Mix the fertiliser and the lime through the soil. A little soil on top of this will prevent any root burn from the fertiliser. Plant your peony with the buds just at surface level. Backfill and water in well. It's a good idea to mulch around the plant with a good layer of mulch and at the same time add a little more fertilizer into the mulch. Water again. Your newly planted peony should burst back into life in spring and it will usually flower in the first season after transplanting. Sometimes they can tend to sulk a little and the flowers will be non-existent or poor. If you divide the plant into sections, chances are it will not flower in the first season. Again, we'll look at dividing peonies in a separate video. Tree peonies do not respond well to being transplanted, especially the hybrid types. We'll be back with more about peonies, so subscribe to the YouTube channel for regular updates on a whole range of garden plants, and as always, good luck with your gardening.